They certainly were undefeated today as they went into Soldier Field to play the Chicago Bears, who suffered their first loss of the year last week at the hands of the another undefeated team, the she, uh, Buffalo Bills. Some folks are saying, you know, the Redskins, are they that good? Well, week after week, more believers are starting to stand in line for the Skins. Neil Anderson, real men play on real grass in anticipation of some big runs by Anderson. Some big catches. Ron Moore. Yeah. Yeah. E. Some big sticks. Nerve. Wilbur Marshall does the job on Tom Waddle. Mike Ditka, Joe Gibbs. Perennial playoff coaches. In the first quarter, Ernest Beiner takes it from Rippin, rips up the middle for 25 yards, but number 81 on the offense, 10 yards, 10 yards, to keep the ground. And off the month. In the next series, Mark Rippin looking deep for Gary Clark, slightly underthrown, a nice play by Lemuel Stinson. On the next play, Neil Anderson. First outside for a big game to get out of the shadow of his own goal post, but Rip holding number 80 on the offense at the line of scrimmage. Two good teams playing a little bit sloppy for them. Not compared to some of the other games we've seen today, but for them. Jim Harbaugh's had a good year, but he struggled today. Charles Mann, Tim Johnson, Andre Collins bat uh, battling through. Yeah, at times the protection just wasn't there for him. Here you see the Redskins come at him with seven people up front. Monty Coleman gets a hand up to knock the ball down. And then when Harbaugh did have time, he made a few mistakes today to throwing into quadruple coverage as he did there. On the other hand, Mark Rippin Reed was ready. He reads the defense, goes across the grain to Ricky Sanders for 14 yards. Drive continues, third and 10. Rippin off the back pedal against Gary Clark for 12. Boy, does he have a receiver stable or what in that posse? Rippin to off the monk. Touchdown, 26 yards, 10 nothing Redskins. Before the end of the half, a scary moment, Tommy. Well, you hate to see this kind of play when two players butt heads like that because that can oftentimes result in neck injury. Fortunately, Edwards jogged off. Anderson all right, 10-0 at the half. The Bears bleeding for a victory. Harbaugh. Deron Morris at the 40. Goes all the way down to the 29-yard line. Add five more after a penalty at the 40-yard pickup on second and seven. Harbaugh on the flat to James Thornton, 13 yards. And to cap it off, how many times have we seen this? He's able to leap tall buildings with a single bound. As Neil Anderson, it's 10-7. The Skins lead down to three. Every team has a go-to guy. The Skins have a few, but Arthur Monk, over the years, is as good as they get. Yeah, you watch Monk go in motion. The tight end runs a check through. Ricky Sanders clears the zone for him, and Monk will make that catch 99 times out of 100. In the fourth quarter on fourth and four, big play here. Rip it to Monk. And he is hammered out at the 18 to pick up a first down on the same drive, third and goal, rip it. Still looking. Here's the play on third and goal, ripping to the corner. And Arthur Monk has done it all by his lonesome, just about the skins lead at 17-7. Monk lines up inside. Gets three Chicago defenders, beats them to the outside. Six catches for 69 yards for Mr. Monk and a pair of touchdowns. In the end, the Skins defense, Matt Millen and company, handle the Bears. Deflection by Eric Williams, intercepted by Fred Stokes. And with big pressure, a classic case of putting it up for grabs. Govea picks it off. He goes away with the football. Jim Harbaugh has had some good games this year. Today wasn't one of his stellar performances. Three INTs as the Skins up their mark to 6-0 with the Bills not playing until Monday night. And the Saints idle. The Skins the only 6-0 team in football. They beat the Bears 20-7. And you can see that they have outscored their opponents in those six games by uh, over 120 points.